What is up everybody? This is uh, Strassdaddy33 coming at you with what I like to call my Mad Molly Moe's build. Now, you guys uh, watched me on Twitch. You guys, uh, I appreciate the support that I've given. And now I'm going to play a little bit of uh, my Moe's build for you guys. So now it's going to be officially on YouTube. And uh, I did say before that I was eventually coming to YouTube. And I do now have my own YouTube channel. So uh, make sure to give this video a nice like, subscribe, and follow me on my my Twitch, which is uh, the Strass underscore Daddy 33. I stream on there mostly every day at 9 o'clock. Uh, so let's uh, jump right into this uh, Mad Molly Moe's build. So you're going to need a couple things here. We're going to we're gonna actually going to start in the skill tree here. So the problem with Moe's is her health regen and her Iron Bear. Now they did just patch Iron Bear and uh, they gave him a little bit more of a cushion with his health but they also gave him a little bit more damage with his with his guns now if you do man manipulate this skill tree the right way you can uh, make sure that you have the best of both worlds Moe's can be that she'll stay alive she won't go down as much and you have the benefits of Iron Bear so I start here with the demolition woman skill tree. So I max out all uh, fire in the skag den. I'll actually take this uh, class mod off so you guys can get a better idea. So I max out everything in the fire den, which Moe's is really good with incendiary damage. Uh, Mostly fire weapons are godlike with her. So, you're going to want to deal a lot of splash damage too with Moe's. So, the other thing that you want with Moe's is not having to reload as often. So, we have every time we do splash damage, we add ammo and you get a grenade chance. So, Every time you, that you do splash damage, you should always have grenades. You should never actually have to buy grenades unless you're on an enemy that you cannot get splash damage from. So, uh, with that in said, we're trying to max out our, our damage. So, we max out the cross torque promotion, which is doubling the splash damage. So, here is the, uh, the thing that's going to help your Iron Bear. Stay out longer, do more damage, you know, give Iron Bear some armor. So I put a couple of points into there. Uh, I do not like my Iron Bear staying out as we are just pretty much using Iron Bear to get in in case we are getting downed or about to go down. That's really Iron Bear's like main goal with this Mad Molly Moe's build. So we have uh, crit hits with grenades. It just increases damage. The skill tree, the skill that we want to max out here is Vampire because uh, Vampire is going to be your ticket f from not going down. So we get 20% of missing health per enemy hit. So I will get back to this because there's actually something that coincides with the skill tree that nobody else actually even has said. So I like to have as much grenades as I can. So I max out my grenades. You don't have to. You can use your skill points elsewhere. But this is my preference. So I'm not really worried about cooldown rate. But what you're going to want to have is to the last. So now this coincides with your grenade mod. So you're going to be able to throw grenades while in last stand. So every time you throw a grenade you're gonna get a damage uh, help with your damage so you're gonna want the anointment for your grenade throw on grenade throw damage is boost by tw what I think 20% is I have 
right here, 25% for 6 seconds. So that's going to help you in Fight for Your Life Hardcore. And then we're going to finish out this Demolition Woman Skull Tree with the Gun Explosion. So the secondary explosion is going to do 75% of the gun damage, which if you're doing a lot of gun damage, then it sh should be a pretty big... So 20% would be 1 out of every 5 with that. So the other thing that we have, we equipped our Iron Bear with the Vanquisher Rocket Pods. Now these will do a lot more damage than the homing ones. I played around enough with oh, actually every single one of Iron Bear's skills, and this one will do the most damage. I actually started the game off, I actually like to do the tracking ones, but it's not as good as the just the regular Vanquisher Rocket Pod. So now we're going to, we don't actually have anything in Shield of Retri Retribution. I think if you're using a class mod, like the Blood Letter, or maybe a different coinciding build but we do not waste any points in here unless you want to put one in security bear which will help you know iron bear not get too hit and you're out so with uh, the the skill cap getting going up I was actually able to finish two trees now I normally would just go to for some for the road which is at the bottom here but I had enough points now to actually maximize bottomless mag skill tree because I actually had the problem of do I want to not reload or do I want to do a lot of splash damage now I can have both so uh, the first skill we want to max out is not being have to consume ammo and we get bonus and scenery damage with that so that being said you're gonna do a lot of fire damage with with this build. So we max out the fire. This is the skill tree here. This is the skill here in the skill tree that you really need to have. So with my Mad Molly Mose, I'm constantly doing this will co in line actually with my class mod. So retribution. There's actually a couple uh, legendary class mods that you can get another point into this. It is very helpful at getting a critical and getting your ammo back, especially if you do not finish the bottomless mag skill tree. Uh, the next one we have, we just had to put it, so we put it in scrappy so we can get down to the next one. I like being able to sprint and shoot at the same time, but it's one of those things to each their own. I think it's helpful. Uh, we want to max out Scorching RPMs, which is going to help our critical hit damage, which is 20%, and our fire rate. And it's also going to increase Iron Bear's damage. So with that being said, we got 25% on Iron Bear damage on that alone, co-lining with the 16%. So 16, 16 plus the 25 so that's actually 40, 41. Yep, it's increasing at 41%. So that those two skills right there are already helping your Iron Bear. So the other thing we 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 don't want to reload. We obviously do not want to reload because a lot of the guns take a long time to reload. We want to do whatever it takes to mags to increase our mag magazine size. So I max this out, which is 35%, not counting the other bonuses that I will add to this with my other uh, relics and whatnot. So the other thing that's going to help Iron Bear is having two of the same weapons. That's going to increase it by 25%. So your Iron Bear is doing uh, 70, 76, I want to say 76%, don't quote me on that, just doing quick math in my head. So 76% damage within three skills. So, the other thing, it wasn't really important, but to get down to the bottomless mag skill tree, we had to put two points in this. Yes, you're not going to ever really reload, but if you do, you're going to do up to 24% more damage. The skill we really care about is the sum for the road, because when you get out of your iron bear, you can actually 
shoot whatever you want and you will not consume any ammo so if you want to use the uh, ion cannon you will you can just spray that as much as you want for five seconds you will not consume ammo and to finish out the bottomless mag skill tree you will regenerate five percent of your magazine per second so that is actually really helpful in stuff like the ion cannon now they did nerf the ion cannon but it's still still helpful to get rockets back when you want to have them I actually don't use ion cannon since they patched it but but with this skill like I said you if you maximize if you want to maximize your iron bear damage you want to make sure that you have two weapons on the same so that's why I actually have uh, both of the vanquisher rocket pods now let's dive into uh, gear so there's a couple things that you can use to uh, maximize your damage which I used to use a Nagata but the spring epicenter when you throw it you're practically gonna always get your health back completely full with a spring epicenter because it will bounce once and then you'll get your health back so I love the anointment on grenade throw because you're boosting your damage for 25 percent for six seconds and the other thing that I like to pair with it is an auto idle now it's one of those things to each their own but I for the time being have versus frozen I I would rather it be fire or corrosive but uh, I also boost my SMG damage and my magazine size by 44% and to help help make sure Moe's actually stays alive I like the health regen so if you're using a Moe's I recommend a spring epicenter and an auto idle those two things will really keep you alive so that goes to my next uh, order of business here which is the recharger now the recharger is is nice I actually used to have one that increases my movement speed by 17 percent because it was actually two movement speeds so so the recharger it will just instantly recharge your shield when broken which is actually really nice the cooldown kind of sucks but it's really nice to get your shield right back so if with the movement speed Moses was actually really slow compared to all the other fault hunters one well, flax really slow too but Moe's is slow so what you want to do is find ways to increase her movement speed during boss battles during anything that really helps avoid uh, targeting the other thing that I like to actually wear with this build is an EMP5 so th I think that increases your movement speed like 15% so altogether right now I'm doing 25% more movement speed now if I really want to even up that I have another relic here another auto idle which helps my movement speed by 9% so there's also that so now let's actually dive into the mad Molly Moe's class mod now a lot of people like to use the Rocketeer class mod a lot of people like to use the blood letter I for one use a mod that I don't think very many people use and it's gonna coincide with uh, with my vampire which is really helpful with keeping Moe's alive I use a minesweeper class mod now to really maximize your your damage you know each one will have a specific uh, reasoning for using it at that time so you're not just gonna always use possibly the same class mod it's gonna depend on your guns and your play style so uh, I will show you a couple of uh, that I have here I have one that does heavy one that I has SMG this one has uh, weapon damage SMG and doll critical this is actually the best 
one that I have gotten so far. But the other one that actually I was using was uh, critical hit splash damage. I would love to get one that has actually weapon damage, SMG, and splash damage. Before it used to be health regen, but health regen is not really an issue anymore with with most for me. So it sucks because I don't have uh, sh uh, redistribution, which is that green skull. But as more as your stats go up on the rolls, the the less uh, anoints you're gonna get on your mod. So. Blastmaster does have Vampire, but this is doubling my splash damage by 27%. So, this is increasing by 18. You can really say that those don't really matter, but I will say this. So, the Minesweeper, when you land a critical hit, you have a 25% chance to drop a micro grenade that explodes after a short time. Uh, the one thing that coheres with Vampire is the fact that you get healed from a thrown grenade. So, it res you'll get a portion of your missing health. So, pretty much every time you drop a micro grenade, which it's a 25% chance, so it's one in, one in four chances that it will happen. You will actually get healed from the minesweeper for the from the micro grenade. So I have not seen anybody else come up with that reasoning or really use a minesweeper class mod or explain that. That is something that I came up with kind of by myself and through my gameplay. I have been playing most since the start of the game but yes so right now I'm rocking SMG damage because a lot of the guns that I use are SMGs and they do pretty good amount of splash damage now you can get any kind of anointments so you want to run sniper rifles you can run sniper rifles you know shotguns try to get every single different type because you're not only going to have one play style you're going to you're going to venture off and want to use different guns other than SMGs. Same with the auto idle. You know, look for different subtexts, look for different things that's going to help your your mows. So, I'm going to dive definitely right into it. I'd say the top the top two guns that you really want for mows is an ion laser. I have a binary one here. I had one that had splash damage, but they raised the level cap so and this one was actually a little bit of a pain to get so I actually like fire and corrosive or shock and corrosive on the ion laser but you know it's one of those to each their own and the next is a kibs worth so the kibs worth is gonna do a boatload of splash damage and if you're hitting criticals you're gonna get your you're gonna get your grenades back you're gonna heal yourself and you're going to drop a micro grenade, which does a boatload of damage. So those are the two guns that I would recommend using definitely with the Mose. Uh, and obviously with the Krakatoa, they really raised the bar on the damage on the Krakatoa. Mose annihilates with this Krakatoa. <laughs> and like I said, you don't necessarily have to have a recharger. A lot of people like the Transformer. I just like the recharger because I feel like it helps with my movement speed and it helps with boss fighting. So, with that being said, let's check and see if that item changed the vending machine. Now, what I'm going to show you now is skipping Tyrene's stages with Moe's. What Tyrene will do is, if you don't damage her enough, she'll fly off and she will be a pain so the trick here is to keep damaging Tyrene so with that being said if you guys have not beaten the game I would not watch this part of the video but 
Uh, you probably have by now, and you're probably curious with different ways to actually utilize Moe's, because I know most people are Zane players. Zane's a great character. He has great banter. But, uh, show some love for Moe's, you know. Throw throw a hashtag Moe's down in the comments. And, you know, if you like this video and you like, you like my ideas, uh, feel free to subscribe, because there's going to be more coming. So let me show you... So, the one thing that I have, to, I would like to say is normally when people, when people are showing what an enemy, what a what a vault hunter or a gun can do, they normally show on mob enemies. Now, mob enemies pretty much can die from anything. They don't have very much health. But the thing that I go by is how is it going to handle itself in a boss battle? So. This right here is going to pretty much tell you whether or not it's good for a boss and whether, whether it's not, and it's just good for mobbing. This Krakatoa is definitely good for uh, boss battles with most, so let's, let's show here. So I'm going to keep throwing my epicenter, we're going to keep doing a bunch of, a bunch of damage, and we're, we're already going to put Tyrene in our first stage. So, Tyrene did damage me, and my shield got recharged back. So, we want to make sure Tyrene doesn't take any steps forward, because if she does, you will not be able to kill her without her flying off. So, throw a bunch of grenades, get those crits with Krakatoa, and now we put Tyrene into her next stage. Now, all these enemies, all these uh, mob enemies are going to spawn in. Don't, worry, don't even worry about them. As long as you do this right, you won't have to worry about them. That is failed. There we go. Make mistake. So we're going to want to do. Oh, and now she's now just spawn, spam, crack a toe, spam, then the guy, and now she's going to move. And it wasn't done right. So. Now she's gonna still come back and come down, but normally you can do it where you skip this stage where she flies off. So Take the wrong fight. If you're doing boss battles, make sure every six seconds you are throwing a grenade so you're maximizing your damage. So yeah, now she's gonna go down again. More power! And right here is the end of it. So you now I will do it again to show you guys that you can skip that last stage, but. And we got an Impaler, garbage. And we got a Queen's Call, anoint, unanointed, which is garbage. Nothing good, Everlast. Any your damage. And let's do this again. And then what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to run over and do some mob enemies for you and show you kind of how the vampire works, the splash damage works, and uh, give you a better logist of what uh, Mad, Mad Molly Mo's is about. Let's check this. Vending machine. Quasar. Make sure you guys are, uh... Damage taken is reduced by 13%. Let's see, we got Absorb Bullets, Booster, and a Nova. Too bad there's not Fleet on there. If there was Fleet on there, that would be a really good, uh... Here's a Bear Trooper. 
That would be a really good uh, big boom blaster. It, like I said, it's all with their playstyle with what kind of shield you want. I just prefer the recharger. So pretty much every six seconds I'm making sure I'm throwing a grenade. Because you're not worried about running out of grenades, you're making sure that you're doing splashdown so you're getting your grenades back. Oh yeah! Why? So when I'm throwing this epicenter, I'm actually throwing it right by her head, so it's doing the crit. So now she's gonna get up, and this is over. So every couple seconds I'm throwing the epicenter, and just like that, you skipped all of Tyreen's stages. See what loot we got. We got an anointed firestorm. We got a tri bolt. Weapon damage is increased for a hundred percent. Too bad the gun's not good. And we got a Krakatoa. But it's not anointed, so. So now let's where let's go to a place and try out. what I was uh, talking about with Vampire here. We're gonna actually go do... a good place to try this out would be Trial. So if you want a Minesweeper, the best place to go get a Minesweeper is either doing boss farming, like Agonizer, Tyrene, uh, Kill a Volt, Uh, not so much killable, but my, the ones I prefer is uh, Grave Ward, Grave Ward, Tyrene, and Agonizer. Those are the three bosses that you pretty much want to farm the crap out of. So I'm actually not even going to pick up any grenades. I'm just going to do Back for more. a little show of actually what... And a, here's a rocket too. Before you're dead. Pretty decent. Come back soon. You still kick Weapon damage, so now I'm gonna actually make sure gunning, grunt. that I don't throw any grenades and I show you that the splash damage I'm gonna get a grenade back. Pick the wrong fight! Here we go! So see there with the splash damage, I got one grenade back. So now, let's... We're gonna make sure that we kill these guys and do the test on this splash damage. So... Got some guys over here. I'm gonna kill this guy here. So there's the micro grenade dropping. And he's pretty much dying. So, so remember, every time we get in a critical, we're getting our magazine size back. And the one thing I can fair warn you about this is you need to make sure that you are not by the enemies when you're dealing splash damage or you will down yourself. I want to take care of this going to the side of the guys. Okay, he's taken care of. So look at that, he got my health back. I didn't even barely do two grenades and I got my health back. We don't have our health back, so we're gonna spirit and Now you see the splash damage, I got my health back, and that wasn't even the health regen. Because I can even take the health regen off and show you guys. The, the, the splash damage that I just dealt healed me. 
So we got a pestilent dictator. I know my buddy will be pretty happy about that. Because <laughs> dictators aren't the easiest to come by. So yes, the Krakatoa is godlike on Mose. And for obvious reasons, it does fire damage does splash damage let's use Get a different here, gun let's use this uh Hibsworth. so oh no we went down in the final snow never mind so we're doing splash damage right there that's pretty much all that damage is splash damage so we're, we're not even using Shock. So we're gonna want to throw a grenade constantly here to this tank. And he's gonna move everywhere. So he's gonna be a jerk. And we're not gonna get a second one, which is okay. Because I wasn't trying to I was not trying to actually blow through this, I was actually just trying to show different areas where the Minesweeper kind of shines. So, the anointed are, I mean, the butt, regardless. on because Here you go! armor armored stuff does give Moe's a little bit of a problem if it's not gross but you want to match obviously so now we're gonna actually stick with this we're gonna switch it to cryogenic since we have that It's nice with this class mod, if the enemy is frozen, he's not shooting at you. So here's another Krakatoa. So there's all that splash damage. I'm trying to get it so you guys can actually see the splash damage. And it's not because I am... Trying to show you some numbers. Maybe we'll go back to Sanctuary after this. So we can show some numbers on the actual splash damage. So yeah. Pretty much like I said with the Iron Laser, we're gonna do a good amount of damage. So what there's gives us a chance to try our after here. If you cannot see it's okay, I can't either. But most of the time, you're not going to be able to see. So, so we're pretty much two-shotting every, everybody. So we're obviously here in our... We're getting shot big time here, so we want to keep throwing grenades so we can stay up. Instant, instant battle. This guy 
I must have a bad modifier because they're really shooting and it keeps me hardcore. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. I had to make sure my modifiers are in my favor or against me. So we'll actually pause it. We're going to go and see what the modifiers are. Enemies gain 40% weapon damage. So that's not a good modifier to have. We're obviously going to take a lot of damage. Krakatoa is definitely great against these anoints it. So let's check and see what we got here. We got a monocle. We got a saw bar. And I should probably put on the mission here. We're 21 minutes in here. We got a warlord. We'll take that. We got a transformer. Bonus gyro damage. All right. Awesome. Kill a wisp and nothing else. So with that being said, that that anointment for that transformer is actually gonna really help uh, boost my Cairo damage. So I'd say for more mobbing the transformers a little bit of a better option, but boss running you want to be able to dodge a lot of the bosses hits like Wotan and Time so you guys see, I'm barely even touching these guys and doing a boatload of splash damage. Like I said, any any ion laser is going to be very helpful for you. Now I do have those mods that increase my gun damage and weapon damage. So with that being said, you want to try and find guns that can correlate with what you're using. So let's... Let's actually... I just think, there's the splash damage right there, bam. It finished them off. So let's make sure we get crits here. Flash damage drop. And this gun is actually a level. This gun is a level 53. Going against 57 enemies. So there's, there's the mine sweeper going off. Trying, trying to hope.
just alone with that. Alright, so now we got the last boss to hit here. Hopefully we get a nice uh, minesweeper from this. It ends now. Oh no, you end now. So we're gonna constantly throw our epicenter here. Six seconds fast, so we throw it again. And we wait for the stage to come back. And we didn't even go in Iron Bear, we don't even have to worry about going in Iron Bear, we can do damage without Iron Bear, and that right there is pretty much a quick kill. So we were not fortunate enough to get a Minesweeper. But lucky for you guys, right now going on is the event with the vending machine, so... I didn't see what time we completed it in, but we blew through it pretty good. So here is a hornet, and here is the duck. The, and I know it's not called the, a duck, but I like calling it a duck because it's funny. It's the duke, because it's referring Clint Eastwood. So let's go back to Sanctuary, and let's hit some targets so we can show what exactly the uh, the micro grenades are capable of here so we can give you a base damage excuse me So let's uh, let's go over to the firing range here, and we're going to I don't know about test a out the splash damage of the Krakatoa. We're, we're going to check out these vending machines first because we might get lucky and get something like on grenade throw. Here's a transfusion tracker. That's a great anointment to have for most. I think that's a great anointment to have for anybody, but that's just me. So, what we're going to do is we're going to actually take off... We're going to take off things that are going to boost our our damage. We're going to actually... What's something that... Okay, here's a Minesweeper, and it's not going to contradict anything here because it's got heavy weapon damage, Hyperion, fire rate, and vlad off speed. So we're just going to use SMGs, we're going to use a sniper rifle. So, 604,000. 444,000 just on the crack of the micro. 430,000 with no modifiers with the crack With the... MP5 Trying to do it so we can see the damage numbers here Not very high, but Take token, look how fast it shoots And then we got the ion laser quick firing 12,000 so if you're actually not reloading and you're constantly shooting the gun just imagine the damage you're going to do here look at here. one two minesweepers and three There's some good damage numbers in there but let's uh, let's actually do things that will help our guns here so we got 
weapon damage, pistol damage. Uh, let's put the weapon damage and SMG damage on here. And we're going to put our auto idle on, which is going to help our SMG damage. So I would highly recommend getting different uh, rolls for, for different guns that you're going to decide to use. So let's start off again with the Krakatoa. That's 500,000 just with the Krakatoa. One micro grenade dropping almost 500,000. So that's half a million on just the Krakatoa. Let's uh, try something else here. Let's try the Kip's worth. We didn't even use fire, so let's use fire here. Twelve thousand. Someone drop us a micro grid. Up thirty-eight thousand, and they're just doubled. So I just did uh, seventy-two thousand on one minesweeper drop. And then, uh, let's try so that pretty much doubled all the all the uh, the damage and we didn't even do the grenade throw that's 20% more damage so we do grenade throw and then get So yeah, make sure uh, if you like this build and whatnot and try it, make sure you you give me a nice old big old subscribe for more Mad Molly Moes. That's pretty much my Moes in a nutshell. I kind of explained everything that will help you be successful with Moes against boss battles and mob battles. Uh, there's other guns that I could go over, but... Uh, to keep things nice and short, you want guns with splash damage like uh, an ogre is a very good one. I don't have one with the splash damage anointment yet. Uh, a double penetrating alchemist, which if as long as you're making sure that you're wearing a transformer shield, it will not damage you. So we'll show you the, the double penetrating here. So you're doing drop and put all those damage numbers. 157,000. That's on top of what you're shooting him. So, look at all those nice numbers, and then they're still going. That, that gun is so underrated, and it's, so many people don't use it. But that is a really good combo with Moe's. Another good combo with Moe's is the the Lucky 7. Now, I'll show you really quick. If you get, if you get a God Roll on the Lucky 7, you'll never have to reload again. So... And if you get your splash damage to double, doing a boatload of damage with the Lucky 7 right there. So Lucky 7 you can find in the DLC. And if you have the unending max skill tree, you will never, ever, ever, as long as you hit a critical, which with the headshot on it, you will never have to reload this gun. It will constantly reload itself. So you're pretty much... Doing a boatload of damage. 
So like I said, if you guys uh, like my video, make sure you give a big old like on it, comment, hashtag, uh, hashtag, uh, Moe's in the comment section if you want some more love and respect for Moe's as she deserves and go follow me on uh, Twitch it's uh, Strauss underscore daddy and if you are on PlayStation and you follow slash subscribe me and you watch my videos if you have me on PS4 I will be sure to uh, send you something if you like that's on the ground that I I might not want but you might I can send it through you through the mail through the mail so thank you very much everybody you guys have a great night and check back for more videos